welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming another life-size video. I'm going to be attempting to make a life-size face mask. Everyone everyone should be wearing face masks right now. I'm sure you guys know what's going on. I got a few requests. I'll just put them here. I think I got just like three or something. I really liked them. You guys are so creative. Please continue putting your requests down in the comments below. I love reading them all. You guys are so creative. I'm planning to do another one that a lot of you guys have requested. So you'll just have to wait and see for that one. So just a disclaimer, please do not wear this as a real mask. Like I cannot stress that enough. Please do not wear this. I don't want you guys to think I'm encouraging you guys to make this to actually wear out in public you should not do that it has little gaps in it because of the crochet stitches we're crocheting this out of rubber bands so I do not want you guys to make this and wear out in public it's not going to protect you it's not safe please wear an actual mask that is going to protect you properly if this is just something for fun you know it's just a little YouTube channel video that I wanted to make I thought it was kind of cute so I'm just making it but please don't take it too seriously also I'm not quite sure if it would be a smart idea to wear this for real because not only is it not protective but it might be a little harmful to constantly breathe in the rubber bands they are covering your nose in your mouth. It's just not an overall great idea to be breathing in rubber bands. So if you make this face mask, please tag me. I love seeing your guys' creations and I love featuring some of you guys. Please tag me on my Rainbowloom account because I have three accounts. I have a personal account, a dance account, and a Rainbowloom account. So please tag me on the Rainbowloom one. It's emelines.loomtique. I love seeing your guys' creations. Like most life-size things I do on my channel, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I don't watch like any tutorials before or I don't have any patterns I'm going off of. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. So I'm not saying I'm the first person to create like a crochet face mask. I'm just kind of doing it for fun. If you're trying to follow along, I hope it's easy for you and I hope this works out because if not, that'd be a, a waste of bands. So without any further ado, let's get on with the video. I'm going to be making my mask a rainbow. I'm surprised I actually have all the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and I also added pink because why not? But yeah, let's get right into it. Like I said, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I just make it up as I go, so that's kind of just the fun of it. I just hope this works out or else this will be a waste of time. <laughs> so my plan for this project is to do one row at a time horizontally. So I'm going to have to figure out how many stitches it takes to completely cover my face, like the width of my face. And I'm just going to build it up row by row, different color by row, until it like completely reaches the top of my nose and then I'm going to attach straps on the sides to go around my ears. So that's my game plan right now. I hope it works out how it's working in my head. So first I'm going to start off with red. I'm just going to do a cat band of two like that and just do single crochets and see how many single crochets it takes for to cover my face, you know, like the width of it. So I did 30 stitches. I really hope this is enough, or I hope it's not too big. I don't want it to look way too big on my face. But 30, this is what 30 looks like. Hope it works. Also, like, about my nails. Um, I don't know if I like them or if I hate them. I was just really bored last night and did them, so I'm sorry if they bother you, but I kind of like them. Now moving on to orange for the second row. I'm doing a different color every row. Um, all the bands I'm using are by Rainbowloom. I ordered them online or I just got them in Michaels. So now we're going to build up the row. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to do the last stitch in the second color. So technically there's 31 stitches. And I'm going to hold this loop so that the capping band is flat like a pancake, not up like a circle, but flat like that. So I'm gonna go into the first loop and put, so I'm gonna go in the first stitch and loop my band through, and then I'm gonna go again and loop it through all of them. There, I think that's how I'm gonna have to transition every row. Add on a color to the last row, 
so it's smooth. Oof, I don't know. It's fine, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention what I'm doing. Okay, so basically the stitch I'm doing is like, I don't even know what it's called, a half double crochet. So you go through the stitch and you grab a band and you pull it through the stitch and reclaim it onto your hook. So now you have four little loops on your hook. And then you take another band and you slide it through all the loops on your hook. So it just gives a nice, thick, bigger stitch, I guess. I don't know if I should stitch into this stitch mark. I probably should. <laughs> okay, so this is what my first row looks like after. And I'm still not 100% confident if my color change idea is necessarily the best idea. Not quite sure what I'm doing. Now moving on to yellow, I bought these bands in my online rainbow bloom haul. I never have yellow. I'm really surprised that I have yellow. I'm so happy I do, and this is the perfect time for it. So let's try to see what we can do with this color change. Okay, so like I did for the last time, I think I'm gonna stitch the color on the last row and then enter, not this one, but this one. It's not the one that the, the yellow band I just attaches on, but the, the one to the side of it. And then just do another double crochet. Okay, that's working really well. That looks really nice. So I think I'm just gonna do that. So I'm just gonna time lapse this row because I'm honestly just doing the same stitches over and over again. And I think you guys know the deal. It's kind of boring. <laughs> I finished my third row with the yellow and it's kind of twisting up a little bit. I hope it will flatten out once it once I start building it up more and it becomes thicker. But now we're moving on to the green. The green I'm using is Neon Green by Rainbow Loom. So like I did before the color change, just one loop of the color you're transitioning to. Oh, I gotta flip it. And go into the second old color. And then just do the half double crochet stitch again. I finished my green row. And just to let you guys know, if you guys are trying to make this, you do go until the very last stitch at the end. It's like the one at the very end. I really like how the colors look together. They're all really bright and pretty together. So now we're moving on to blue. This is the blue I'm using. This is pastel blue. I also ordered this online in that video. The color change. Oh, I always forget to flip it. Flip it, flip your thing around first and then do the color change. Oh, I don't know if a lot of you new Lumi Gurumi people know this, but when you do Lumi Gurumi, you're always working from right to left. Um, so it's not like a book where you lead where you read left to right. Like this would be incorrect, working from left to right and working that way. Your hook is always on the right. I actually don't know how that works out if you're like opposite handed, unless you still have to loom with your right hand. I'm not sure, but just letting you guys know. So I finished my fifth row. This is what it looks like so far. I really am obsessed with the color combination. My only concern right now is that the the side, especially this side, I don't know why that side's doing a little bit better than this side. It's kind of curling in. I'm hoping um, that it'll flatten out. Honestly, I'm just doing 
half double crochets or honestly whatever the, <laughs> I don't even know what these stitches are called I'm just doing half double crochets over and over and over again and I don't want the video to be too too long so I'm just gonna do the purple and the pink row and come back to you guys I finished my first set of rainbow colors I, I seriously am so obsessed with how this looks I love how all the colors come together they're really light and beautiful so I'm gonna do the exact same thing red orange yellow green blue purple pink and I'm gonna do a whole nother set of that to make it just thicker. And if you guys are curious of what colors I used for the purple and pink, I used pastel purple, absolutely love this color, and I just used regular opaque pink. So I'm just going to quickly do the other set of rainbow and come back to you guys. So I finished both sets of the rainbow. There's 14 rows here <clears throat> and I really wanted to do a white border around the whole thing to kind of clean it up or just give it a cool extra look. But honestly, it's kind of big. <laughs> so I think adding another row on top and another row on bottom would kind of be overboard on making it really large. So now I'm just going to do the little things on the side to go around my ears. So I think this would be fine. Also it'll kind of cinch it in the sides so it'll kind of make it small and not just look like a huge square on my face let's go i'm so excited so i'm gonna tie this off oh i'm just gonna slip knot this okay so i'm gonna start up here in the pink i'm just gonna take the whole entire stitch just something extra to grip onto and i'm just gonna do a single crochet and then I'm gonna do another single crochet in the one next to it. And then I'm gonna take this band and slide it through both of them. So it has a little bit of a thicker base to attach to. So I did a single crochet and then I just looped my hook in the one next to it and then looped a band through it. Okay, so change of plans. I'm doing double bands. I feel like that will just be way more secure. I won't have to worry about it really breaking. Or anything so I'm doing two bands per stitch I still I'm still doing the same base I did but I'm just doing two bands every time perfect oh my gosh okay so that's one two 19 20 okay that looks really promising I'm just gonna go see what it looks like on my face real quick I think 20 is fine, so, <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go into, actually, that's the capping band, cute, okay, I'm going into the capping band, no, I'm actually gonna grab the band next to it, and the band, the capping band, and do a stitch, and then a slip knot. I'm just gonna do that on the other side now. Like I said, you can do these straps however you want. I think this is just what's gonna work best, best for me. Also, you can tie it off however you want. I feel like I might change that up. I don't know how I feel about one little band holding that, but honestly, it's fun. <laughs> okay, 19, and then this is my last stitch, 20. I'm just gonna try to do what I did in the other one, go through both of the loops. This does not seem secure at all. <laughs> okay, but you know what? We're just gonna put a little bit of hope into it. So just a loop, and then a slip stitch, and now we're done! That was pretty quick, actually. So for the final touch, just try to hide these little tying off bands. Oh, that one wasn't even pulled all the way. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to hide it inside of the loop that we made for the ears. And this pink one over here, I'll just try to go back and forth crazy. Yay, now you're officially done! So here's the final product. It looks really sick. It looks awesome. Little wires for your ears and then, of course, to cover your face. Like I said in the beginning, please do not use this as like an actual face mask. It's not protective. It has little holes in it, but I'll put it on real quick to show you guys. <laughs> Can 
kind of got to get it behind your ear though. And it makes your ears look really funny. <laughs> but, I mean, that looks sick. And like, you can still hear me talking pretty well. Okay, so the total band count, this took 890 bands and it also took one hour and 10 minutes to make. So it's not that bad It's and it's sick. It looks so cool. That looks so cool. Just a warning though, it might not be safe to wear it for too long. It is made of rubber and I don't really know what's in that. So you probably don't want to be breathing it in all day. Just kind of make it, I don't even know why I made this. It <laughs> if you guys end up making this, please take like a picture of yourself wearing it or just put it on like a stuffed animal and tag me in it. I really love seeing what you guys make. I'll even feature you on my Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more. Like I said, please recommend more life-size items you'd like to see me make. Bye guys.